Hi everybody, Carla Nicole. So um, I wanted to talk today about the importance of intimacy. Um, there was a post the other day that asked what's more important, faithfulness, loyalty, or int intimacy, which is sex. And um, mostly all that spoke on the, on the post said that it was uh, loyalty, and faithfulness and um, not really too many people said it was sex so I wanted to talk about it really fast because I think this is very very important and it's extremely um, necessary to talk about the sex issue um, you know a lot of people have issues with the topic sex uh, you know my thing is you know without it your relationship is not where it needs to be um, you know a lot of people want to talk about how important it is to get married but um, you know unfortunately I have seen more people um, in relationships and it's just in name only so they're married yes legally but a lot of times uh, you find that they are having a sexless relationship no one is really um, intimate or touching or caring about each other there's a lot of um, empty relationships especially empty marriages and it's very disturbing because you know um, yes you want someone loyal and faithful but in reality that's not happening <laughs> there's a lot of relationships that go through turmoil there's a lot of relationships that go through um, changes they evolve they they grow and do different things in the relationship but what happens is nobody is continuing on with their intimacy they're losing sight that the intimate part of the relationship is most important because if you talk to seniors and I talk about this all the time if you talk to seniors people that have been married for 20 30 40 plus years and you talk to them and you will understand especially there was a couple that was married for 60 plus years and they asked them they said what kept you two together and what I love about the answer was that the one person in that marriage said we didn't fall out of love at the same time Ooh, is that not good <laughs> Everybody wants to talk about how important it is to be faithful, how important it is to be in love and all that. That's fine, but can you still make love if you're angry with each other? Can you still make love if you're disconnected with each other? Can you still make love in your differences? I mean, that is really truly the glue. And a lot of people want to talk about infidelity. Infidelity is so outrated. Oh, I'm sorry, overrated? It's unbelievable. So many people talk about, oh, you know, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated, she cheated. Look, understand this. No matter how in love you are with someone, through the courses of the years, you're going to find other people you're attracted to. That is what it is. And at that time, you can make a decision to be intimate with that person or not. And it has nothing to do with the fact that you love that person or not. It could just mean that there was an attraction and it's no you know reflection of how they love you it just may be an attraction but you know I've known and seen more relationships especially marriages go through infidelity and stuck through it and with it even though they had issues and problems and guess what they got back together and once they went through that storm and turbulence and went through some heartache and pain guess what happened they ended up being like oh my god the intimacy is still here because it's stronger now. We have went through some we went through some turbulence in our relationship. We went through some pain. We went through some agony together. And even though he was sleeping with someone else or even though she slept with somebody else, guess what? We still have something here. And it's worth fighting for. But a lot of people don't want to talk about sex. They don't want to talk about the importance of sex, but it's hugely important. We spend a lot of time about faithfulness. Look, stop it. You know, um, I was a big person about it. I was like number one advocate against infidelity and all this other stuff and spent more time wondering if he's sleeping around. Is he with this one or that one? And guess what? My nightmare came true. 
Why? Because that's all my energy was in. Well, I'll love him until he until he uh, sleeps with someone else. Well, that's silly. And when you talk to the elders that have been married, and you talk to the elders that have been through the turbulence and through the trials and errors, those people, they come and go. <laughs> If they really love each other, they come and go. That doesn't mean nothing. That's not the any. That's not the camel, or that's not the straw that make, breaks the camel's back. That's just something they go through, and they deal with it at the time. Well, what's going on in our relationship that you have to seek somewhere else? What is it that's going on in our relationship right now that makes you want to, you know, um, seek intimacy with someone else? Where are we lacking with each other? How are we able to reconnect? And sex is it. Really, when you're intimate with each other, you're connecting, you're, you're, you're pulling from each other your needs and your wants. Yes, Perry, I, I know, but a lot of people don't want to talk about this. They don't want to talk about the beauty of sex. So many people have opinions about sex. Look, take all the religion, all the opinion, all of that stuff off of it, and you will understand sex is a need. Sex is a need. Sex is a need just like thirst rest I mean hunger those are things you need in your life so if you're gonna spend you know multiple days about well I don't want to have sex until we're married let me tell you something you don't want to have sex until you're married well guess what a lot of marriages aren't having sex a lot of pastors telling you to be abstinent aren't having sex in their marriage so get off of it like quit talking about intimate sex as only the only way to be with somebody understand sex is what it is it's a, a human need but the problem is we have so many issues on sex well if he sleeps with someone else I got a problem or she's with somebody else I got a problem well then there what's the love really because there's gonna be a lot of times your person that you're with disappoints you it just is what it is they're going to disappoint and when they disappoint are you just gonna be like you know what I'm done with you and throw you away like trash then are you really so called in love like you say you are I mean, and I'm not saying to be with someone that's just going to completely and totally cheat on you all the time. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is if they make a mistake or two, don't get all bent out of shape. Because when you really calculate, you've been with this person for 10 years and they had an affair for an hour and a half. And you throw away your whole 10 year relationship. My concern is, did you really invest in that relationship? Or was it just because you wanted to be with somebody or they, they happened to be with someone else? I mean, really, let's think about the importance of sex and intimacy. We spend too much time about what our so-called mindset or vision in our mind of what sex is. And then we spend way too much time about, ooh, you know, she's sexing him or he's sexing her. Because, you know, a lot of people that are not having sex are wondering if you're having it. So, you know, you spend more time about my intimate personal sex life but your sex life ain't looking right. So I'm confused. Is it that we don't have it? And then here's the thing. If you're not having sex, then guess what? Not having sex means your body is going through a starvation. Touch starvation. And in that touch starvation, our, 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 our bodies are in like, oh my God, in a panic. And then we make rash decisions about, ooh, let me just, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should go to women now or go, or dudes now because I don't know what to do. I just, I'm not being touched. So, so again, it's like, okay, well, are you being, are you so caught up in I can't have sex unless I'm married that you are being abstinent because you believe that that's the only way you can have sex? Then you're really shortchanging yourself. And don't take me to be Miss Ungodly. Hey, I'm a very spiritual woman. But at the end of the day, sex is a need. And if we continue to be on this platform of, oh, I gotta not be sexual. I gotta not be sexual. You guys are taking your, your what is a human need to an extreme. And then you're wondering why you, you, you can't focus on what you need to do when your sex life is in a shambles. Or your sex is not happening. Your life is in a shambles. Pay attention. A lot of these people that are advocating to not be sexual are the main ones having sexless relationships. And their mind and everything is all, all crazy because they can't focus. Not to say that sex is, is something that you is a must. But it's definitely important. And I'm so tired of people saying 
sex is not important. It's hugely important. And if you have somebody you love, care about, and you want to go for longevity and of time, not I'm not talking about just dating them for three months. That's not what I'm talking about. When you're talking about being with someone for three months, that's not a relationship. That's just somebody you sleep you slept with and maybe had a, a couple moments with. But that's not really relation. But when you are in a relationship and you want to have a long term with that person, you are going to go through some challenges. You are going to go through him being attracted and you being attracted to other people. That's just the reality. Does that mean he's uh, uh, disposable? Does that mean she's disposable because of some kind of, you know, interaction she had with someone else or he had with someone else? That's silly. When you had 10 years, I'm seeing people that were together for 10, 20 years and leaving. What is going on? Like you're you're leaving this relationship you invested so much in, you know, for an hour and a half that your mate had with somebody? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. And, it, and now I'm questioning if it's just about the fact that they slept with someone else. We have to detach from the sexual issues. We don't want to own the fact that sometimes it's not about the faithfulness. You know, some people will be faithful and some won't. Some will be, you know, um, really involved with you and care about you. A lot of these guys that, that women are disposing of because he cheated really gave a damn about her. She didn't see that part, though, because she was so caught up in the infidelity. But if she would have stopped for a moment, and I talk about this, give yourself 30 days to see if it's worth it. If it's worth it, then why not fight for it? And I said it before, a lot of us are spending too much time about, well, he had sex with someone else or whatever, detached from it. 30 days. You find out your dude is cheating, okay. 30 days. And I'm talking about 30 days and doing nothing. You can't move, you can't make a decision for 30 days. Why? Because in 30 days, it may not be as impactful as it was day one. Gentlemen, y'all know, and you know, most of my, most of my following are men. Y'all know it is heart wrenching for y'all to deal with a woman that cheats. I want to give y'all 30 days because does that woman really love you or was she just, did she just get involved with a dude? Maybe just to get involved with a dude, it might not even be about you or what you don't have. But if someone is seeking intimacy with someone else, nine times out of 10, Nine times out of ten, it's because something is lacking in the relationship somewhere. It doesn't necessarily mean it can't be repairable. Just because you're in a boat and you've got a pinhole, you don't try to fix that pinhole? You're just going to let that stuff just fill up to where you're sinking? No. You're going to try to figure out what's the resolve. Well, how can we get this to, you know, to work? How can we figure out how we can repair this? But so many people think relationships are disposable, and that's not why this is why marriages look like this this is why marriages are not staying together because if if our partner or our lover disappoints us we have to say you know what i'm done i'm throwing you away like a like a throwing away pop can that's not fair that's not fair and we all make mistakes and ladies just because you know you are uh faithful doesn't mean you're an angel I said that before, just because you're faithful doesn't mean you're an angel. There may be some things you're doing outside of the relationship or inside the relationship, I'm sorry, that is causing a discord between you and your mate. You could be nagging him. You can maybe not, you know, really get connected with him. You can take him for granted and those things you can't see, but that's something he may feel. Hey, Fashion, and if, if that's how he feels, then he can begin to make decisions here that, you know what, this woman over here, I go to her crib and, and she's giving me all kinds of, you know, appreciation. But when I go home, my woman is all she's doing is arguing with me. All she's doing is complaining. All she's doing is, you know, telling me what I'm not good at. She don't even want to have sex with me because she'd rather sleep. I talked about this stuff. I've talked about this stuff. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I told you I was going to talk about this today at noon. I didn't want to disappoint. You know, I'm big about being a woman of my word. I'm out and about today. It's beautiful. It's a Sunday. But I just want to get people to get past all this stuff with sex. You know, sex is a need. And I'm going to continue to tell you that. Sex is a human need. 
Can you have sex? Yes. Can you have sex unmarried? Yes. Does that make it wrong? No. Can you be reckless with sex? Yes. Does that make it bad? Yes. <laughs> you know, my thing is you got to be, you have to have some type of spirituality. Let me tell you something. If you don't want to hear nothing else, God made sex. Hey, I'm just keeping it 100. God made sex. And if we don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. Man made marriage. So, hey, you know, y'all might be mad at me, but I just have to keep it 100. God made sex. And it's not just for procreation either. Because if that's the case, sex would stop after we have children. God made sex. So understand, when you are having sex with someone that cares about you and you care about them, there's nothing wrong with that. We got too many people out here thinking sex is bad. Sex is not good. You don't only have sex when you're married. Well, that's delusional because there's a lot of people out here having sex and not telling you they're having it. Unmarried. We don't want to talk about that. Oh, oh, what we're ungodly or or that person is ungodly because they're having sex without being married. That's that's not true. Because if you really want to think about it, it is what it is. It's a human need. There's a lot of people out here that don't want to own that stuff, but that's the reality. And a lot of these women are waiting for a waiting for a Boaz to show up. I did a whole series on it called the Wait Series. Don't believe me? Go to my page, Jealousy Resolution Corner. A whole page of explanation of what's going on with women. And we women are waiting for a man to show up. Hoping that the UPS guy might pay a little closer attention when he drops off that package. Hey, I'm just keeping it 100. Not having sex is not healthy, first and foremost. There are health benefits. You don't believe me? Go do your research, ladies. Why is women looking terrible after a certain age because they're not having sex? Hey, I'm just saying. Don't kill the messenger. Don't be mad at me. I don't care if you think that I, you what I'm saying is wrong. Hey, unfriend me. I don't care. But at the end of the day, I need us to understand sex is beneficial to the body there's a lot of benefits to it there's also a lot of benefits to connecting with your mate whether you're angry or not sexually yes cleveland's exercise so hey i'm just hey like i said god created sex we can be mad all we want you can be mad at me for saying it hey i don't care at the end of the day i'm telling you what it is you can have sex unmarried you just don't want to be reckless with sex let's let's keep that 100 don't be reckless out here sleeping with everybody you... Hey, he looked at me cute, oh, this and that. Don't be promiscuous. That's just not... That's not healthy for you or the guy or the men that you're with. Don't be promiscuous. That's not okay either. But understand, there are health benefits. And if you don't believe me, look at the elderly women and the elderly men that are, are practicing abstinence. And their gait is off. They're, they're not healthy. They're bitter. You're just looking like, why are you so bitter against men? Like, what's the problem? Ah, men ain't this. Men ain't that. You're looking like, I can't be her. Because when I get 60, I can't be that. And most of y'all ladies that are beautiful, youthful, and you continue to stop having sex for whatever your personal reasons are, hey, that's your prerogative. But I'm telling you, it's healthy for you. And if you can find someone, and I'm not saying you got to run down an aisle, because just because you run down an aisle with a man don't mean he's going to be best for you. Trust me. Trust me. I have been in this game a long time, and I have been married twice. I, I, a, was I married? Yes. Was I not? Happy? You know, there were times I was, there was times I'm not. So at the end of the day, I'm just telling you, it's very important to understand that intimacy is 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 definitely key but be um be very careful with what you do with your sex you cannot be reckless if you're reckless with it then it's going to cost you but if you're if you're responsible and and mindful of the person you care about there's nothing wrong with that and i'm just trying to get women to see you're going to wait on that ring for years because some men don't want to to get married they don't because they don't want they don't want the obligation ladies they don't want to take all that on they don't
But if they want to love you, take care of you, and, 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 and be with you, then, you know, what's wrong with that? I'm just saying. Well, I hope you guys really appreciate this video. Share it, please. Because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody it, it definitely needs to hear this. Because a lot of people don't understand the, the, the very important thing about intimacy. Especially women. And, you know, they're caught up on the marriage thing. It, it's not always it's not always the best thing for you. And sometimes relationships are better unmarried. Because like I said, marriage ain't working. You're talking about a two, two to three ratio. And that's feeling bad. <laughs> I mean, they're not working. So obviously, not everybody is married. But there's, there's people out here having sex. And if they're having sex, then hey, does that make them wrong? Does that make them going straight to hell with and on roller skates? No. So we need to get off of that thinking and understand that sometimes we just need to see outside the box. So make sure you guys share this. I appreciate all of you that chimed in. I will stay on this on this uh, on this task, man. My task is to get more and more and more people educated and get them off of this thinking about, oh, you know, this and that and this ain't right. I want us to get better here because health is number one. And it is a need. And if you if you learn quickly and understand that it's not just about the fact that you know someone is caring or whatever, it's definitely about understanding there's health benefits, there's connection, and even if you're angry, it, it relieves you from stress. All those things. Don't take my word for it. I want you, everybody that wants to disagree with me, that's fine. But I want you to go out and do your research. Go and look up what's the benefits of sex. And once you find that out, you will understand why I said that God created it. All right? All right, I'm out of here. Carla Nicole, signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.